Hi, I'm Larry Stewart. I'm editor with Four Construction Pros at ConExpo ConAg 2011 in the uh, John Deere booth after a pretty exciting unveiling of some pretty significant prog products with Mark Oliver, who's product marketing manager for uh, articulated trucks for, for Deere. Mark, tell us about this new machine. Well, you've had, you've had uh, articulated dump trucks for quite some time now. Uh, they've been it's made no secret that they've been manufactured by Bell. You've got a manufacturing agreement with Bell. Um, uh, obviously, this truck's a, a little bit of a departure. Tell us about it. Yeah, this uh, the truck that we unveiled this morning is our new 460E, and uh, we're pretty excited uh, about promoting this truck here at, at Con Expo for a couple of reasons. One is, uh, number one, our product family is growing, and uh, we think it's pretty exciting to, uh, to grow our product. Is today our biggest model is our 400D, which is a 40-ton uh, capacity truck. Okay. And with the introduction of the 460E, it gives our customers an option of having a bigger truck to move more material, more material faster, and. Uh, 46 tons, not too shabby. So. Yeah, yeah, there certainly has been some category creep in the articulated dump trucks. Oh, it seems like all the 40 tonners out there today are 42, 43 tons or something like that rated. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. so uh, this truck is, is all designed by Deere, manufactured by Deere as well then? It's manufactured by Deere at our Davenport, Iowa facility. Okay. And uh, this, is, this design was a uh, ground up uh, redesign of our truck and mm -hmm. uh, we're pretty proud to promote that our, that our boys in Dubuque, Iowa have done a good job of uh, getting this truck here to be on display this week. So, so do the do the the 20 through 40 ton uh, uh, part of the line does that continue to be sourced the way it has in the past? Um, when we talk about our articulated dump jump, uh, excuse me, uh, our articulated dump truck family, we break it into two families. We have our small products and our large products. Okay. Um, so our our large products, which is uh, historically today has been our 35 and our 40 ton truck. That's the family that's part of this E-Series redesign initially. So okay. uh, our 35-ton truck, our 40-ton truck will be updated to a very similar design to the 460 that you see behind us here. So okay. that'll be the first introduction of our new E-Series. Oh, okay, I see. And those will, those will be Dubuque manufactured Davenport, as well? Davenport, Iowa. Oh, I'm sorry, Davenport, my bad. Uh, both uh, good parts of Iowa. That's right, that's right, <laughs> God's country. That's right. Uh, um, well, um, uh, that's interesting. Um, so, it, so it's deer powered, obviously. I, I assume that's that's correct. Mm -hmm. We're um, with IT4 regulations coming into play. Um, we our update has got the deer engine in it, IT4 deer engine. Mm -hmm. So that'll be part of the of the launch next year in 2012. Okay. All right. And and it's a 2012 availability. Uh, that's when we're expected to go to market with it. Yeah. Okay. I see. I see. Um, Mark, why don't you tell us about the um, taking that step up to 46 tons? I mean, what what's different about this truck from the from the 40 tonner? Sure, um, it's interesting when. Uh during this whole our whole theme of Con Expo this week for John Deere is that we listen to customers, we get their input, and we take that into the design of our products. Well, when it comes to ADTs and we talk to the customers, uh, in articulated dump trucks, uh, if you ask them what's the most important thing to them, and productivity by, by large proportion is the most important thing to them. They want to be able to move dirt more dirt, faster, more efficiently. And so that whole conversation led us to what size do we need to grow to? So the 460E gives us the ability where the customer can use uh, their current excavator that they may be loading ADTs with today and get one more full cycle loaded into the truck. So it can, kinda, it can keep their job efficiently running while still uh, hauling more material with our bigger truck, so. I see, but the, that additional weight uh, um, Considering the the kind of extreme conditions for which ADTs are built, what uh, what kind of kind of suspension and driveline uh, changes came with this truck versus what you what you've had before? Yeah, um, what we've done is besides the implementing the Deer IT4 engine solution in it, um, uh, we've got some more Deer locally sourced components. Uh, our axles are, are manufactured by John Deere as well, so that's a, that's an exciting addition to the truck. Um, but one of the things that we did uh, is we wanted to simplify the operation. Um, so we're going bigger. We want to make sure that the you know the, the machine operates efficiently out there to move more material. So the traction control system on it, we automated that. So the operator now doesn't have to always uh, think about when does should he engage the diff locks or when he should he lock up the inner axle lock. Our system now is going to help do that automatically for them so they can just focus on the job at hand of driving that truck safely. So, so you have both uh, locking differentials and a locking inner axle uh, differential and now the, the uh, uh, system, the, the electronics on the on the truck is actually t sort of taking control of that and and determining when to lock and how much to lock. That that's correct. And and the the other beautiful part of it is it's uh, 
uh, you can now engage him on the fly. So the operator doesn't have to stop or slow down. He can engage him while he's going. So if he sees a, a rough spot coming up and he thinks they need to, go, need to be locked up, he can engage him manually or he can let the system do it on its own. So oh, okay. it's a great addition to this, uh, to this new line of trucks. I think that uh, from John Deere's perspective with this, with this truck here, um, Doing the design, having the design done out of our Dubuque engineering facility and then uh, manufacturing our Davenport, Iowa uh, facility, we really, uh, we're really trying to show customers this week that we're serious about the ADT business and that we're proudly promoting this new, this new model. Uh, I mean, going bigger is a good thing. I mean, there's no way of showing that you're more dedicated to the business than letting them have a bigger model available. So, well, I wish you the best of luck with it. Thank uh, you. It looks like you got a good crowd here today, and uh, look forward to seeing what comes next. Great. Thank Thanks. you.